Hi, this is Dr. Jewel Williams, lead pastor of Abundant Life Worship Center, located at 7701 South Exchange in Chicago, Illinois, 60649. And I am continuing and finishing up with my series, Release the Glory. If you missed the first series, which was the, the glory killers, the things that we should stop doing, go back and watch that. And this series has been about what things we need to start doing, the seven things we need to start doing. Um, and so today's, the final one is build his church, not our kingdom. Exodus 19 and 6 says this, and you will be my kingdom of priests, my holy nation. This is the message you must give to the people of Israel. And so I just want to come today, it's a scripture we've read many times, but I just want to come as, as a reminder to you and give you this message from the Lord. And he says that we are a kingdom of his priests. We are a holy nation. That means we are set apart for his purpose. We can't do everything. We can't, um, we can't, we can't, um, participate in everything we have to be selective and hear what god is telling us to do as his children we can't participate in sexual sin and then say we're a holy nation we can't do that i can't lie and cheat and um try to destroy you or or, or try to build myself by tearing you down that's not what a kingdom uh, the kingdom of priests, God's holy nation looks like. And so he says, give this message to get to the, to the people of Israel. And while we're not the children of Israel, we are God's people. And he has called us to be a uh, priest in his kingdom. That means I don't get to decide how I'm going to be that priest. I don't get to decide what role I'll play. He sets us in position and in place in terms of what he wants from us and how he wants us to show up because again we're building his church his kingdom we're building his name his reputation not our own so i need to make sure that i represent him the way that he desires for me to represent him and when i do that part of the the benefit is i experience his glory why do because you don't need god's glory if you're not going to represent him well he says, I don't share my glory with anyone. And I believe part of that means I'm not sharing who I am and my honor with you for you to try to take it as your own. I'm not sharing my glory with you so that you can be built up in yourself. If it's contrary to me, I'm not going to share my glory with you. And so if we want to be able to experience the glory of God, we need to let him build us as his representatives. Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. Again, it is priority. God is saying in order to be the church and to build his church, not our kingdom, is we have to put things in the right priority. We have to be God chasers. I talked about that before. We have to be in pursuit of him. We must pursue what he wants us to pursue the way he wants us to pursue it. We have to be willing to give of ourselves because, you know, in investing in what he says and invested in each other, that means I have to give up something. I have to be willing to die daily to what Jewel wants to do because I have to be a kingdom focused person first. When I do that, he says, then, and she said, live righteous. So seek God and live righteous. The two go together. I can't say I'm seeking God. But I, because you can seek God, but you can seek him with the wrong motives. So he's saying, seek me with the right motives. Seek me with a righteous motive, with a holy motive. So don't seek me just so I can give you stuff. I'm not a big Santa Claus in the sky. He says, seek me with right motives so you can live righteously. And then, that's the end. Then he'll give you everything you need. You know why he'll give you everything you need? Because you've already proven to him that you are walking the way you ought to. See, God isn't going to, it's like your kids. If you have children, you're not going to give your children responsibility. You're not going to give your child a car if you know they're reckless. Reckless. You're not going to give your child a credit card if you know they can't keep two pennies in their pocket. You're going to see first that the child has an ability to to rightly handle some stuff and then you will trust them and so god is saying i need for you as my children to start seeking me even more than you ever have before and live righteously because when you do 
then I'll release to you the things that you need. And some of the things aren't just that you need. God will sometimes give you the desires of your heart. Why? Because your desires are already in line with him. So you're not going to be desiring from a wrong motive. And the glory shows up and gives to us. And from the glory, from his presence, he begins to relieve gifts into our lives. Amen? Second Chronicles 36 and 23 says, This is what King Cyrus of Persia said. The Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth. He has appointed me to build him a temple at Jerusalem, which is in Judea. Any of you who are his people may go there for this task, and may the Lord your God be with you. You know, I, I said, Lord, why do you want me to use this scripture? But you know, the Lord is saying, when you are willing to build his kingdom, he will even bring the kings of this world. And for us, that's people in political places. That's people that not even are part of the church, not even a part of the body of Christ. He will put it on the hearts of people to give you the resources. See, he used King Cyrus to give the resources. Why? So that the temple could be built. When you're willing to build God's church, he will send you resources from unusual and unexpected places. And then when those resources are open to you, and it says any of you or his people go there for the task because the Lord God will be with you. So I just want to encourage us today that if we want to see God's glory, there is a process that we go through. We got to be praying people and not only praying people, but we got to be people willing to forgive and to trust and to press into his presence we must be willing to pursue him and and in our pursuit our main pursuit is not to build us but to build his kingdom not our own kingdom we're not building the false trinity of me myself and i and how you know you in the false trinity because everything is about you you was the only one on your mind how they did you what is it in what what do i get me 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 when it's all about me then you know you're in that false trinity but when you're saying lord what must i do Father, how can I be a blessing? Show me how to be this kind of priest that you want me to be, that I have the right kind of garment on, not necessarily clothes, white, but I am garmented up in your righteousness. I am. I have on the garment of praise. I am coming with the right mindset to worship. I'm not worshiping you like I'm doing you a favor. I'm worshiping you because you, are, you, you deserve the honor and the worship. And so when I do, all of the other things will be in place. You said that, when I seek you first, everything else will be needed. So I just want to encourage a pastor today, a leader today, even somebody starting a business. If we do it God's way, God's glory will show up on our behalf and fight for us. The glory of God opens to us. The kabod, the weightiness of the glory of God opens up. And it is from that place that the presence of God comes forth. And he begins to release things for us. He opened doors that we couldn't open. He brings people that will invest in us that we didn't even know where they came for we wouldn't even know how to go find them but god opens that up to you i think about myself even as a publisher there were some things i was like lord i need more help and it's like he sent me information and as i'm listening to the information i'm listening to the speakers they saying exactly what it is that i needed did i know where to go no but god knew where to lead me and so god will lead he will bring those people and those resources for us so i just want to pray into that Father, we thank you today that as we have come and partnered and said, Father, we are releasing, we're not trying to build our own kingdom. We're building your kingdom. Even if we're building a building, building a business it is still not our kingdom we're building it to bring glory to you everything about our lives is to bring glory to you doesn't matter whether i'm a pastor whether i'm a preacher whether i am a, a, a i own a business whether i own a daycare it doesn't matter what i own or who i am all of it is going to be centered around building your kingdom building up the body of Christ. And so, Father, because you've called us to be this uh, peculiar people, you've called us to be a kingdom of priests, help us to put on the right garment because you know the priests because you can see what the priests in the Old Testament, you knew who were the priests. They had to go through a process and they looked like the priests. Father, help us to look like the priests that you've called us to be. Help our conversations to look like a priestly conversation. Help our behavior to look like a priestly uh, uh, behavior. Help everything about us to align ourselves so that people know we are this holy nation. And Father, we thank you because we're going to seek you first. We're going to seek kingdom things. We're going to seek being a, a and living righteous we're going to have the right motive because we're not just going to seek them seek you for ourselves we're going to seek you with right motives and you promise that when we do 
from your riches in heaven, you're going to give us everything you need. And so, Father, I'm praying right now for churches and leaders that are in this place. They're, they're being obedient, but they need some resources released. Father, I thank you for the, the Cyruses that you're about to open up in, in, in our in our um on in our behalf the the cyruses that are going to come and say here god has spoken to me father there's some people that you are even right now putting us on their mind they don't know us they don't know about us but you are talking to them about our need and when we come to meet them they'll be able to say oh god has already told me that this is what i need to do and he may not use those words but they will go yes i i thought that i was supposed to do that and so i'm going to do it i'm going to partner with you so that you can go and do this why because your god is going to be with you so father i thank you for the resource i thank you and i claim the resources right now for abundant life worship center father and i pray anybody else listening to claim the uh, accept it receive it we receive that you have all that we need for the building of your temple for the building of our business for the building of what you have given us the vision you have given us you're going to build it and you're going to build it rightly through us in jesus name we pray pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Dr. Jewel Williams, lead pastor of Abundant Life Worship Center located at 7701 South Exchange in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, We'd love for you to join us at the church and our services are 11 a.m. on Sunday. I want you to be God's guest and remember go to our website or our uh, Facebook channel, uh, our Facebook page rather, for other events that are going on at the church. We would love to see you there. And as always, I pray that you experience God's glory. God bless you.